Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to read about what does he think, feel, intend towards you, and also what are his fears uh, regarding you, regarding the relationship with you. What stops him? So I have six tarot decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Please think of a person or persons and choose your deck or decks. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen? Shall we start? Let's try to do it quick, a quick reading. Um, so we can cover all of these decks fast. Six, okay. Deck number one, those who chose deck number one. What are his thoughts about you, his feelings, his intentions, and what are his fears? One thing that stops them. Okay, so what are the thoughts about you? Wow, Page of Cups and Sun looks like they are almost like in love with you uh, they think you are great beautiful young refreshing positive uh, energetic you know childish young you know beautiful they see you you're visible um, basically thoughts are very very positive about you and I would say romantic as well uh, they have romantic intentions towards you, like they want to communicate some message to you, a romantic message, or they want to like, flirt with you, and they're very happy about you, when they think about you, yeah? Now, um, also it can be that, let's say, if you have kids together, they might think about, when they think about you, they think automatically about the kids as well. So for, for you... For them, you have a connection with children, um, direct connection, some sort of... Now, what are the feelings towards you? Nine of Cups and the Moon. I think they are ups like obsession, you know, with you. I think the feel feelings are, they want you, but they try to suppress it, they try to make it secret. So it's very subconscious, it's very deep. I think the feelings are like, um, I think the desire that they're trying to hide or aware desire or some inner desire or their heart desires you but they cannot understand it so I think it can be also kind of obsessive wanting you know like obsessive wanting that they want you so bad that they go, they're going crazy because of the moon card it's like they cannot sleep at night or <clears throat> emotionally it's very very active Whatever the feel towards you is like huge inner storm happening, you know, and it's very um, how to say very very stormy, big wanting, you know. I would say, but they do not understand their feelings. I think they're not aware. It confuses them. They are a little bit um, trying to suppress them somehow. I feel. But they definitely want you, I think. They definitely want you. Now, what is the outcome? What is the... Sorry. What are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions? So, intentions are actually not to do anything. Yeah, to hide their feelings. To They think very nice about you. Or maybe they just think that, oh, you have beautiful kids or something like that. And uh, emotions, they're trying to kind of hide it. Um uh, deny it or something like that but they're very very strong and intentions are actually either to keep the formal uh, connection with you 
just to talk about business, just to talk about work, just to be very formal and very cold, not to show emotions, basically. They are planning not to express their emotions. They'd rather fight with you and be mean, but they would not want you to know what they feel. And uh, for some reason, they're not accepting maybe their feelings and they're trying to kind of fight it off or something like that so intentions are kind of can look like even mean compared to what they feel so what are the fears regarding this situation or well, page of coins the fears can be financial the fears can be that um it also can talk about the child yeah this card a page it can talk about the child thing of swords so they are um, afraid about the child and about some man. Or it can be legal issues regarding the child. Or it can be legal and financial issues. So some sort of practical thing is holding them back. Some sort of practicality, some sort of finances, or maybe because you have children, or if you have children. And it can be a particular person, the King of Swords, or it can be just uh, some sort of legal issue um so yeah they are thinking about other people when they think about you and it's kind of getting complicated and because of that okay let's go on and look at the deck number two now This is deck number two for those who chose it. The question is, what do they think about you as of now? What do they feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what are they afraid? What stops them? Their thoughts about you. Three of coins and the hermit. Well, thoughts about you. Maybe that... Um, maybe that you're like alone, like a poor thing or something like that. Someone that needs company or guidance or something like that. of coins and the hermit maybe that they sort of tried to get you and then they decided they didn't want to or like that you want to be single or you like to be alone or something like that or they see you alone walking and uh, maybe they view you as such Sometimes, you know, the hermit can be, they see as a little different from others. Maybe a clothing style is a little, like, not shabby, but simple. Like, not trying to impress and, and things like that. Maybe you're not chasing after people's company. You like to be alone. So, like, a, some sort of wise person, they think of you some deep wise person now uh, what are their feelings towards you two of cups and the universe wow i think uh, it's actually love uh, they might be in love with you or, or close to it um It can be that definitely they feel either that they have you or they basically they, they feel a love for you, There's some sort of connection that basically you and them have something in common. And with the universe card, you feel like fulfilled, uh, happy with this relationship, with this connection. Like sometimes can even be that they feel everything is clear, they feel satisfied, you know, everything, that sort of thing. 
So in a way, later the man doesn't try, you know, anymore, or or the woman, you know, anyone. So later they don't try, you know, anymore because they feel that they have it, they have the love, they have the, they have you, they have that sort of thing. And basically, the cards are happy that they feel fulfilled emotionally with you. They feel like love, you know, and. Um, The thoughts kind of doesn't match, right? The feelings. Now let's have a look at the, their intentions. I'm sorry about the dogs again. They bark every night. Uh, intentions is Knight of Swords and Knight of Coins. Well, I think the intentions are uh, to just think about you and take their time. They, um, I think they, again... They feel, but they cannot uh, translate what they feel properly into the thoughts. Uh, and their intentions are basically also don't do anything. And they're afraid to risk, you know, to, for example, to come to you or to start a conversation or, or contact you or something or initiate something. I think because they are afraid of rejection or something. With the Knight of Coins, they were careful and they are not wanting to risk anything. And the Knight of Swords just shows that they're basically thinking about you and perhaps thinking that you don't like them or something like that, that it's, this relationship is not going to work or something like that. They're basically worrying and are afraid of risking uh, what they have by initiating something, doing something about this. So, what stops them? Five of Swords and Eight of Staves. Maybe there was some sort of fight with someone, some sort of fear of rejection, as I said, like someone said something, uh, like, uh, and like, we see many men, and in a very fighting mood, you know, they're all very, like, enemies, you know, like, for the ready to fight. And here also he alone has to kind of fight back. So I feel there's some sort of um, disagreement from uh, the group of people uh, or the fear of these people or something. Um, the fear basically of criticism, of um, rejection, of uh, humiliation, some sort of humiliation. I don't know how this can this happen, but... Something like that, and I feel it's coming from other people, like society or friends or something, and that's really painful when it comes. So I think they're afraid of what will others say, or how will they say it, or maybe they experienced it before. So I think they choose not to do anything and basically just keep it for themselves. Or at least take time and see when it's the right time to do something, uh, you know, and then they'll be going towards it, doing something. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Okay, let's have a look at the deck number... Thing number... Three? Yeah, number four... Three, four, five, six. Yeah, number three. Okay, that's the deck number three. Those who chose deck number three. Let's have a look. What do they think about you, feel, intend, and what stops them? What do they think about you? What do they feel? What do they intend and what stops them? What do they f think about you? I think they basically think about you as someone, like an example of, uh, yeah, of someone courageous. So, I think they kind of adore you because of your ability to 
you know, flow with the flow, um, not being afraid of anything, just um, from their perspective, it seems that you trust life and you're not afraid to, you know, take risks and things like that. And also you seem either patient, either strong from their perspective. So I think that's what they think about you. I think they adore you. From the stuff they adore you. They think you're some sort of uh, very unique um, human being, you know, who is, well, different from others, who has no fears, who who do things that others would feel, you know, scary or dangerous. And I feel uh, they think of you as very, how to say, delicate and feminine or weak or small, something like that. And anyway, for a person, weak, small, feminine or whatever, young, like you, you're very strong and it's surprising them and because of that they adore you. So, um, there is some sort of, um, that sort of thing, I feel. Now, what do they feel about you? The master and understanding. Well, here I feel they feel to you some sort of spiritual connection. They feel that, um, there is some sort of deeper connection with you, like you're their guru or something. Um, like, it's like a more like psychological uh, teacher, like so psychologist you are for him. Because um, I think plat like here's like more like platonic relationship and they uh, can be uh, on, a so on a spiritual level more. Like you have conversations where you can understand each other and no nobody else can. And like you, you connect on a, in a deeper level, and they feel that, you know, that um, there is some sort of deeper connection. It's not lust. It's not sex. It's not uh, things like that, but it's um, adoration and um, again adoration on an emotional level. Well, understanding it says well indeed. I feel you have similar paths or similar ideas about things, so they feel, I think, superiority to you, like you're superior to them somehow, because this is a master card, and understanding is like, um, they get you, you get them, but at the same time, they think you're better than them, they want to follow you, they want to kind of... Uh, be like you or they kind of think well she's she's perfect yeah but I don't know if this adoration you know can be like a, a obstacle into a love relationship if it's a love relationship yeah it can be too much of adoration you know and thinking that they that you are a spiritual teacher for them or something and um, because of that, they might put some blockages. Well, let's see. So, what are their intentions? What are their intentions? Exhaustion, moment to moment. Well, here, I feel that they have problems in life with the Nine of Wands. They are really... You see this man exhausted. Um, there's so much going on around them. They are somewhere stuck in life and they cannot get out. They basically, their state of being is not very good. And because of that, they either don't want to take um, full, uh, how to say, responsibility into this relationship. They just want to right now when they have time to connect with you or when it happens to connect with you, or uh, let it flow, you know. It says moment to moment. It means that sometimes they would like to meet you. Sometimes. And when they can, or when they have time, or not full time, or part, they would like to meet you part time, or something like that, because it's like step by step, jumping over the stones. When they um, have the opportunity, I feel... Because there's, they're having problems, I think, in life, and because of that, they cannot fully 
dedicate their attention, their focus to you, but they want to, and sometimes or a little bit or uh, um, like how to say a little bit or sometimes or part time or Mondays or something like that, they would want to spend the time with you but not go into it full 100%. Now, what stops them? It can answer our question, but let's see. Thunderbolt and possibilities. Well, definitely. What stops them? It can be, you know, some sort of uh, that they're in a relationship because the two of wands, you know, possibilities basically talks about the choice. And uh, Thunderbolt is. Uh, you know, breakage of something, um, give me maybe um, some sort of chaos or some sort of problem that they're having already. Mm, can be like uh, crumbling something in their life, like relationship or work or something, and unexpected things going on, and now they need to, try, uh, to choose between you and someone else. So maybe this is uh, this is what's stopping them. Actually, they I think they are very overwhelmed with whatever is happening in their life, and they do not know how to go about it. And uh, I think they need to think about things very well before he understands he'll need to choose. And it's coming to them. And that uh, it's opening up for them. Maybe something happened in their life and it's opening up for them. New opportunities, new horizons, uh, new possibilities. And they basically need time, I think, here. It, because they're not in a good, um, calm state right now. They need to oh, solve these problems first. And then they will be able to maybe make some decisions regarding you or things like that, basically. So, let's have a look at the deck number four. This is deck number four. For those who choose, deck number four. The question is, what do they think about you? What do they feel? What are their intentions? And what stops them? Their thoughts about you. Wow. I think it's being in love. Thinking how great you are. How attractive you are. How wonderful you are. Um, how beautiful you are. And this is, I think, a romantic thoughts already. This is sexual attraction and beginning of a relationship and also wanting, instinctive wanting, maybe physical wanting. And this is uh, the Cups card, which is, uh, I think, page of Cups, yeah, in this deck. So it's flirt, it's um, love messages, uh, flirtatious phone calls, etc. They think in a romantic light about you, so I think they're into you. Now, what about the feelings? Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Feelings can talk about, uh, for example, you being kind to them, you giving them something, or talking in a nice way with them. So basically, this can repre uh, represent a loving exchange between you two, the Six of Pentacles, that... Uh, there was some sort of loving exchange or some sort of act of kindness or help or favor, something like that happened between you, maybe service at work or something. And they felt that you are meant for each other. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles, they uh, could have felt that you um, basically would be good for each other in no matter what situation, bad or good, you could get over everything together but I feel that they feel that there's a problem they're into you but there's a problem like you can't be together for some reason uh, either because um, of well financial situation either because of uh, some other people 
you know, something like that. So I feel like it's a Romeo Juliet situation here, uh, on the feelings level. But I feel that you're very similar to each other, and uh, at some point, but maybe they feel that they don't deserve you or something like that, that maybe you're better some, somehow, maybe financial, we're talking financial classes or financial situations or something. Hmm. Okay, so it can be that they feel they're poor, for example, too poor for you, too bad for you, too ill for you, or something like that. But this card for me, it's uh, being together in a bad uh, time, supporting somebody you love uh, when times are bad, when you don't have money, when the health is bad, etc. So I think they feel like there's some sort of tortured lover, uh, unhappy follower, and you know, something like that. So, what are their intentions towards you? Six of Cups, the Tower. You know, here I feel that they want to express it, they want to talk about it, they want to let it out, they want to let it all out, <laughs> let you tell you about the feelings, you know. They, they want to break the silence. They want to basically just express themselves, express their feelings, I feel here to you, like um, with the Six of Cups, but it doesn't matter the meaning, but look at the picture, it's just a couple, and the guy is actually the active one, he's kissing the girl, the girl is looking just straight, and... Uh, I think this card is like you cannot hold it anymore within and you want to just shout, you want to just say it, you know, and they want to act. Look, the sun. Yeah, I think they want to be happy, they want to, basically intentions are, they want to clarify things, they want to tell you the truth. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the last two cards, which mean what stops them. Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. What stops them? It can be uh, some sort of, well, money. It can be money that stops them or, or a man who is richer than them. For example, if there is another man in your life who is richer than them, do you think maybe it's that what stops them? their intentions I think intentions are to get you to clarify things to go with it what stops them is I uh, think they are conscious about their financial state and King of Cups can be another guy who is let's say with you um, Or we can see their own love stops them. Their own love that they feel stops them. I don't know how to put it. Or a rich man stops them. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if this made sense, this, uh, I feel that maybe I couldn't um, interpret very well this part. It 
can be more to it than what I said, but yeah, but let's move on. Okay, let's look at the deck number five. This is deck number five. So, what are his thoughts towards you? Feelings, inten intentions, and what stops them? What are the thoughts about you? Nine of discs and seven of cups. Well, I think thoughts are um, that um, perhaps you're very well off and you're very beautiful and etc. etc. Your your standing is very good and well, basically they just dream about you. Perhaps some sort of materialistic aspect is also here, like. Uh, you are rich and uh, if they are with you, they probably will um, be able to gain some sort of materialistic goodness um, or some beauty or be a part of that, maybe social status. You'll be able to be a part of the social status that you are in, a part of that success or a part of that self-esteem that you have. So I think they basically dream about you, they fantasize and they wish for you. They wish and I think there's a little bit of a thinking that you're better than them and you're hard to get. Now, what do they feel about you? Eight of Cups and Seven of Swords. Feelings. Well, either they feel that um, you're not interested in them, you're avoiding them, you're trying to get away from them somehow by uh, avoiding their messages or avoiding their meeting them, something like that. Or it can be that the feelings are... The feelings are that they themselves are not, they kind of mm, lying to themselves about you. About uh, I don't feel like they are in love. They're dreaming about you, but this can be a financial aspect as well, or some something else. Not love, like not hundred percent love. Maybe they're impressed by something about you. It can be your um, money, your uh, things like that. Maybe the place you live in, the car you drive. And uh, feelings are like... Maybe they're searching for someone or something. And they're trying to trick themselves into believing that they are loving you or something like that. So... Also, they might think that you're avoiding them and you don't want to be with them. That you're running from them. And uh, things like that now. What are their intentions towards you? Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. Intentions are actually to finish off this love. <laughs> it's weird. Um, intentions are actually not to continue with this relationship. Uh, they want to end this relationship, I think, before it even starts. They want to avoid this for some reason. That's weird. What do they think about you? Yeah, and what stops them? Princess of Cups and Ten of Wands. So first of all, they might... Well, Prince, Page of Cups, we can see. Page of Cups and Ten of Wands. It can be that either... They might have another one, another person, because Ten of Wands is basically being uh, overburdened by responsibilities, can be overburdened by too many uh, partners, or can, yeah, so, so basically what stops them is can be another person, 
and other relationships and other responsibilities that they have to do and because of that they cannot uh, take up one more person in their life or they're already taken up so they want to reduce you know that burden it also can talk in you know, a page of cups about their child actual child and that taking care of the child is a, a really big burden for them and they cannot focus somewhere else in, in their life right now so yeah this one is actually he doesn't want the relationship i think maybe he is avoiding you and because he wants to end this for some reason yeah I, either a child either someone else Maybe at some point they think that you can't take care of yourself, you can be on your own, things like that. Like you have many options in life, you can go anywhere you want, something like that. Okay, um, yeah, that was the reading. Let's have a look at the last one, number six, yeah, number six. So, what is he thinking, feeling, intending, and what stops them? What are they thinking about you, King of Wands and Chalices? What are they thinking about you? It could be that uh, they think that you're very cute, naive, maybe someone who needs help, someone who needs, uh, how to say, guidance, taken care of. It can also th uh, mean that, hmm, this looks weird, the king of wands. Can be that they remember you, for example, you had a relationship before and you're not having it now, so they are kind of remembering the previous times, the past. You can also talk about they remember you. Mm. That they look at you like a uh, part of the past that someone who's been in their life and uh, also can talk about you being kind of very very naive and young and or doesn't matter the age sometimes person is naive and childish and they don't take things seriously they just want to you know have fun enjoy and the fact that they see you like that it can mean that, well, it's weird for them or it impresses them. You know, like you'll need a care all the time. You cannot be on your own. You need some somebody with you. Also, it can be that you seem like gentle, soft-spoken, things like that. But there's this man, King of Wands, so either that they remember you like that or it can be that actually there is some other man you're with so you can't help thinking that you're with somebody now what is what are they feeling towards you nine of cups and queen of cups i think they love you here um they're in love with you you are their darling you are their lo loved one They, they like to be with you, to socialize with you, they, f mm, they want you and they maybe remember some sort of moments when you were together. Basically you make them happy, you make them feel happy and I think satisfied as well and they just remember that 
they, they feel that feeling of satisfaction, of uh, basically love, yeah. Now, what are their intentions towards you? Queen of Pentacles and Tower. We're here. Uh, towers kind of can, can talk about some sort of chaos. It can be that uh, well, there's another female. Now I don't know if, they rep if she represents you or somebody else, but it can be that they are thinking about separation or some sort of clarification of things. Or maybe with that other female. Queen of Swords. Somehow uh, either they plan on telling some other female about you. Solving some sort of problem. They're definitely planning on some sort of action, I think. They're definitely planning on changing something. With the Tower card, I feel they want to come to that Queen of Coins who can be their uh, another partner or someone. And they might make a mess there, like telling her about all this or something like clarifying things. Now we have one more queen. Well, clarifying, telling the truth, and expecting some sort of gain <clears throat> out of that. They're trying to get lucky in something. You know, they're trying to play with luck, and I think in a drastic way. Okay, so let's see um, what stops them. Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Well, I think uh, family, house, their house, their family, and also their, um, you know, well-being, good uh, status, financial status, materialistic status. Basically, as such, they're happy financially, they're happy socially, their family is well settled, everything is fine. And I think that's actually keeping them back. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure about this one. But it seems to me like they want to go to a woman. But the question is, woman is either, I don't know, if she's you or she's her. And they want to just break that all eyes, just tell the truth, to just make a mess out of the situation. And then they expect some sort of gain out of that, some sort of success, luck, or whatever. Okay, so that was the reading number six. Um, I hope you liked it, I hope it was accurate. Please comment in the comments. How was this? Was, it, um, was this making sense or not? Okay, and thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.